Within a few years, pretty well everything that you buy for more than 10 bucks and that you don't eat or drink is going to have a CPU in it and communications. That's going to mean that we're going to build ever more complex socio-technical systems that include people and all sorts of objects. Now, what sort of world is that going to be? Well, we can tell a few things. The first is that more and more industries are going to start looking like the software industry because software will be more and more of the value in the things that we buy. That means we'll have the good, the bad and the ugly. The good will be flexibility. You'll be able to roll out all sorts of new services to existing bases of zillions of objects. There will be the bad in terms of usability issues and complexity and there will be the ugly in terms of monopolies. And it's going to be really interesting to see how the law evolves to cope. Another issue is that when you've got complex socio-technical systems, neither engineering thinking nor economic thinking is enough on its own. And the world's central bankers have just learned this in a humongous way, in that until about six weeks ago, they thought they were in the financial economics business and that models like Black Scholes and the capital asset pricing model were enough for them to do their job. They've now learned that they were actually in the complex systems business. And learning that lesson has cost them and us trillions of dollars. There's a big and interesting question about how many other fields are going to have to learn the same lesson. Now, the strategic challenge for us as educators is how do we see to it that the systems people of the future understand both engineering and economics? We have to teach economic, uh, economics experts uh, to think about systems, about complexity, about trust, about scalability and so on. And we have to teach engineers to think about economics concepts, to think about incentives. Now, what we're doing, for example, at Cambridge is that I've got a, a course on economics uh, for our second year computer scientists. But when are we going to see the first courses in economics faculties for economics students to start to learn about systems?